What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to my gaming lounge. And this episode, I washed up on this... Well, I guess not washed up, but this boat here brought me to this place. Apparently, I need to find a sail for him, and I have no idea where to look for it. <laughs> so, let's get looking. Okay, now I have no idea where to start looking. Ooh, look a pig. Ow. I don't know why, but I wanted the pig. Uh, okay. <laughs> no distractions. I have to find somewhere, somehow, to get a sail. What if I just talk to this man? That's the wrong button. So, I'm feeling pretty good. Why? Because I recently got myself a pet pig. Three, in fact. I got a black blotched pig too how often do you see one of those not often chum i've let i've let him ashore to graze over yonder but the thing is i can't stop worrying about the little guys oh <laughs> okay cool great thanks any whom he's not gonna give me a sale oh every time i walk into a place it looks like there's a cutscene. oh cool bombs can i carry them yeah, uh, I want it. Wait, what? 10,000? You're kidding me. Okay, all right, guy. You're you're crazy. This guy, he's a ripoff. No, thank you. I'm out. Mr. Expensive Man. Oh, look at this old man. Hi, guy. Hey, uh oh. Oh! Oh, if you please, young boy there, please help me. Please listen to my tale of whoa. Uh, okay. Oh, my sweet, sweet daughter, my only daughter. Poor Maggie, she was captured by a bunch of villains and taken off to the Forsaken Fortress. Oh man, boy, do I understand what's going on. What on earth could those scoundrels want with her? Are they just roaming around looking for young maidens? Are they, e or are they just evil creatures who delight in mischief? Well, crud. Having a kidnapped daughter doesn't get you a single rupee, you know? Please, please save my poor daughter. I beg of you. Here I stand begging. I hope you'll give these scoundrels in the Forsaken Fortress a good scare. They'll pay for what they've done. Oh, yes, pay! Okay. I mean, not that I wasn't going to do that, but okay. <laughs> like, okay. Hmm. That man looks interesting, but no. No. We're not going to go worry about all that nonsense. I need a sale. You don't look like you want to sell me a sale. You look very depressed. You looking for a sale? I have no idea where to find one. Do I look like a sailor to you? Look, I'm feeling down right now, so shove off, will ya? Drop anchor elsewhere. Dang, dude. I just wanted a sail. Ain't nobody trying to bother you or anything. Ah, good Eskimo friend. My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away. A land where the blizzards blow violently. What? Heading for this town? No, no. I need a sail, guy. But dear me, as I traveled, a terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits. Yet mysteriously, only that escaped without so much as a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say you're. From the looks of you, I would say you're a traveler as well. Oh yes, indeed. Could you not purchase that from me? It's the one and only heirloom from home. The people of this town do not seem the least bit interested in that, despite the fact that it would help them travel the dangerous seas about their town. Wait, blah, 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 blah. Please, I beg of you. I wish to open a business here in this town, so I'm in desperate need of finances. How does 80 rupees sound? Dude, I have 80 rupees. What do you think? Should I say yes? I'm gonna say yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you much indeed. Okay, okay. What did you give me, though? Oh, dear. Happy day. Very well, young master. I promise. Please take that. 
Oh my god, I got a sale? Are you kidding me? Did I really just get this lucky? I got a sale! Alright, I'll take it. Yes, yes, yes. You have made a good purchase today, my young master. And you have saved my life and business as well. Treasure it dearly as it's the finest sale in the world. Treat it as such. Ah, ah, let me go tell the boat. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go tell the boat. I'm gonna be like, dude, I got a sale, but I had to spend the 80 rupees for it. No, what are you, young boy, oh brave, promising, uh, you must hurry, you can't dawdle. Okay, so just, okay, I, I, yes, dang, was this guy, see, if he sees me every time, is he going to be telling me that? Dang it, get over here, get over here. I just wanted to pick it up. All right, I made it, I made it. Oh, that looks, that look in your eye. So, you found yourself a sale, have you? Very well, then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hole and press A to climb aboard. Set the sail you got to Y, Z, or X and press that saying, okay, okay. Uh, the sail that the sail will catch the wind, which will push the boat forward. The up that appears behind the in me indicates wind direction. Okay. Use analog stick to steer. If you wish to move quickly, you should keep the wind blowing directly into the sail. You can always press A to put away the sail. Try it when you want to adjust your speed. Did you understand all that? I mean, yeah. Ah, one more thing. When you're out, when you're, when you are out at sea with few landmarks to go by, you will be at the mercy of the sea chart. I have marked the place we should currently be heading for your sea chart. Okay, if you get lost at sea, simply press up to open the chart. Okay, now a westerly wind blows. Hop in. Okay, okay, so get in. Um, um, oh, I didn't do this yet. Bring it to a Y. Okay, and then I press Y. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. You want me to go east? I don't, oh yeah, this is east. North, south, okay. All right, guys, we're doing this. We're setting sail. I'm, I'm going on adventure and all these good things. What? What is this? That's where I'm heading for. What is this? That telling me the sun? I can put that away, right? Yeah. Wow, I, I'm actually doing this, guys. I'm sailing. This is really exciting. Look at me for the very first time ever playing. When I played Wind Waker, I'm actually setting sail for once. This is what I've been wanting to do ever since I was a child. The heck? Well, that freaked me out. Anyways, wow, I can't believe it. I finally did it. Oh my goodness. Cue the confetti. You have to cue the confetti now. Can I break into this? Oh, oh, oh. What happens if I go in between them? Anything good? Can I? Okay, I'm going to crash into it just to see. <gasps> oh. Yes. How far do I have to go? Ah, I see the sun is setting. Okay, well, not really. Oh, I'm close, I'm close. Wow. This is super fun. I know I'm just going forward in the sail, but look at the cartoony art. It's so awesome. I love how cartoony it looks. It's just so beautiful. This beautiful seagulls going near, flying near me. I'm super excited. Whoa. Okay, so that is the Forsaken Fortress, right? There, on the horizon. That is our destination now, some Dragon Roost Island. Oh, okay. I thought it looked weird. Oh my, well look at that, Dragon Roost Island. High atop this island's peak lives the Spirit of the Skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. And what do I do with this, Valu? Well, who knows? You must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Oh, Din, like the goddess? Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Hmm, okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sorts that is used a long ago when the people played music and prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I don't know if it still works. Even so. I thought it, wait, I'm not using his voice, am I? <clears throat> Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. First, 
conduct in three fourths time. Do not touch. Just try to match the rhythm by use by tilting. Okay. Ready? Ha! Oh. Very nice. That was splendid. Next is four fourth time. Four fourths time. Hold to change the rhythm, then match the rhythm and tilt it. Oh my god, this is so complicated. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I can do this. Okay, ready? Did I do it? That's it, awesome. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct it in 6 4th time by tilting that way. I got the stick! Thank you! Alright. No idea, I still don't know how to use it right, but alright, I got it, guys. I feel like this is this ver game's version of the ocarina? I, I don't know. Well, just in cases, I will put it to X. Yeah, all right. <gasps> Ooh, bombs? <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> ah. Cool, cool. All right. Oh, maybe I need it for this. Uh... Oh, no, don't throw. Just, okay, I can throw it. Just got to time it right. Ooh yeah, baby. What'd I get? What? Oh, I thought I was getting something cool. What does this say? Wind shrine, male center. So male center? Come on. Hut. Um, I think I need bombs. Um, can I make it from there to here? I can't, right? Well, I guess I'm not going that way. <laughs> Onwards and outwards, my f my f fellows. I'm by myself. Oh, the wind shrine. <gasps> okay, okay. I think this is where I'm supposed to learn a song. Check. There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. There it is. There it is. You guys ready for this? You guys ready for this? I'm a musician or I guess composer all right you learn the winds requiem what does that do though whoa 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 easy what the heck was that does that make me go for oh. yep that's a mighty nice breeze the name's Zephos I'm the god of winds so you're the Wind Waker, are you? Mm, yeah, great, great. For a beginner, you've got nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up, well, it gives you control over the direction of the, direction of the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. Do you want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother, Silos, is miffed about his monument here being broken. And now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So if you encounter any silos, oh, cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will ya? And that is my request for you. Bye! Huh, well. I guess I can do that for him. Woohoo! Okay, so I gotta find a way to go up. Is that what he said? <gasps> can I attack? Oop, oh, oh, wrong button. Where'd the crab go? Oh, I wanted to see if I can attack the crab. Okay, so, uh, guess try to find my way up. That shouldn't be too hard, right? Oh, well, yeah, I can just blow it up. No! I said, blow it up. Okay, that's not how I wanted it to go. Okay, time it right, time it right, time it right. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, 
Let's do this. Pick that up. <laughs> Money. <laughs> oh. Hey, look at me. <laughs> I guess I didn't need to do that since this was here, but whatever. I don't know where, where that's... Oh, there's a whole nother path. So unnecessary, gotcha. What is that noise? Oh. The seagulls flapping their wings kind of sort of freaked me out. All right. Hop, 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 Come on! Dang it. It's already half a heart I'm losing here. Okay, okay. It's not hard, 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 it's not hard. Yo, oh, got it. I got it. I don't care. I got it. Whew. See? Got my hearts back. I think they knew I was going to get hurt. All right. Sidle that. Whew. Oh, my goodness. Look at that determined look on his face. I'll never get bored of that. I love that look on his face. I think his facial expressions are what's really going to make this game for me. All right. All right. Throw it. I wish there was a. Oh, I wish there was a, an option to just drop it. Oh, let's check somebody else's mail. Good morning. Welcome to the Island Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? Um, nothing. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. Ooh, the Rito man, the Rito bird. <gasps> oh, the Rito, just like uh, Breath of the Wild. Sorry, I played Breath of the Wild before I played this. I mean, you guys, from the other episodes, you know what I'm talking about. I played the other game. I played this game a long time ago, but never got this far. So, so yes, technically, I did be, play Breath of the Wild before I played this one. It is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. Oops. Oh, 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 I didn't read the first part. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she? Oh, wait, I forgot what voice I used for him. It was more serious, wasn't it? Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Alsom. Would you like to meet our chieftain? 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 I've told my people here about you, and all of us Rito are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you aid of your... Ah, uh, well, I gotta stop clicking A so fast. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Awesome. I'll be waiting. Ah, dude! Wait, what? His hands just turned into wings. What the? Cool. Not gonna lie, though. I kind of like the Rito from Breath of the Wild. They, they just look too cool. I couldn't not like them, okay? They were just... They were just awesome looking. But, whatever. Lift. Let's be classic Link here and destroy everything. Ooh, money, 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 money. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not do that. Jeez. It kind of scared me. <laughs> Ooh, that classic. That classic music. Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Valu's anger? Wait, he's a chief. He should sound a little more... A little more chieftain. Ah, so you're awesome, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice a raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. So, we do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of the dragon roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. 
They will remain wingless, and in, in, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? I mean, I don't have a choice, right? Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Alsom with regards to your son, Prince Komalai? 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 Komalai. As you can see, Alsom is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Komalai will open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct. My son, Komalai, is of the age to earn his wings, yet he is weak in some ways, and in the light of the current situation, oh, in light of the current situation, he may just give up on never, on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley, Med Medley, 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 is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I am counting on you. Man, just tell me where she's at and I'll go find her right now. Here, Alsom. Here, Alsom. Take this with you. Who knows? It might come in handy. I got a delivery bag! <laughs> Doesn't look like one, but okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Velu to us. In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Komalai. Aw, oh, man. I want to grow wings, too, man. That looks so cool. Dude. Dibs! Come on! Hut, 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 Where is she? I believe it's you? Speak. Wow! You really do have green clothes and strange shaped hat. You're Alsom, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the Great Sky Spirit Valu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the chieftain. Alsom, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Komalai. I got a letter! <laughs> okay, okay. Let's do this. Come here, just come here. Yes. Do you really want to take it out? Choose the delivery bag, just that. I get it, I get it. The basic Zelda stuff. The room way in the back on the first floor is Prince Komalai's room. You have to go down a couple steps to get there. When you meet Prince Komalai, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen, Alsom? I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. <laughs> yeah, okay. Check it out, nothing can kill me! Oh. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to talk to you. You're not important to me. Great. And take two. Check it out. Nothing can kill me! <laughs> I take it this is where his room is? I hope this is where his room is anyways. Come on. Let's see. Whoa! What is this? What is this? This is in his room! Oh, I um. <clears throat> it appears I went to the wrong spots. <laughs> oh, please let this be his room and not some weird, windy spiral to death. Hello, Prince Komalai. Is it Komalai or Komalai? I don't even know anymore. Ah, uh, uh. Speak. Uh, who are you supposed to be? Um, speak to him again. What do you want from me, huh? I, I don't want to talk to anyone right now. 
Uh, oh. The letter. Is it in the delivery bag? No, what, what buttons am I clicking wrong here? Uh, uh, press Z. Z, Z? Yes. Uh, Z again. Okay. Uh, look at you and take it out. Here you go. A letter from my father? Oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like it's one. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go get a scale from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? <sighs> That's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what, if you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Well, okay. <laughs> well, all right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like what you see. Next episode, I will probably be climbing up to... Valu and calming him down apparently that's what it looks like this is all going to anyways thank you all for watching i'll see you guys next time